patients that we take to surgery for robotic removal of the ovaries can essentially be broken down into four separate groups. The first group is patients who have what we call an adnexal mass or a mass on the ovary. And in that patient population, what we typically do is take the patient to surgery, we remove the ovary robotically using this laparoscopic technology, send the ovary to the pathologist intraoperatively, and then our pathologist here can look at the ovary with a technique that we call frozen section. The second patient group that we focused on in this study, looking at the patients that we had taken to surgery for a robotic approach, is patients who have a known genetic predisposition to ovarian cancer. And we call that hereditary breast ovarian cancer syndrome. These hereditary cancers are primarily caused by two genes called BRCA1 and BRCA2. And if patients undergo genetic testing and they're found to have a deleterious or an abnormal gene in BRCA1 or BRCA2, their risk of developing ovarian cancer is extremely high, usually around 40 to 60 percent over their lifetime. The third population that we studied is women that have a family or personal history of ovarian cancer. For whatever reason, because they have a strong family history, want to have their ovaries removed. This is a technology we can use to do that reliably, consistently, and safely. And the fourth group of women that we, that we studied, looking back retrospectively at the women that we've operated on here with masses of the ovary ovarian cancer, is basically women that had a very high clinical suspicion going into the surgery of having cancer of the ovary.